This is a broken garage door spring I'm going to measure. The idea of this thing inside is one and three-fourths up over here. And then I've undo done the screw here and I'm going to put this together to measure the overall length. This type of spring on here is called a right wind spring. And that's because if this part of that bottom end of the spring is facing you, when you adding a turn here, the finish that goes over this way is to your right. Called this is called a right wind spring. So if you're adding turns, you're looking at the end view, and then this finished piece is sticking out here to the right. That's called a right wind uh, spring. A left wind, of course, would be to where it's aiming this way. So this is a right wind spring. This particular one has got, in five inches, has got 20 coils, so it's a quarter inch diameter. The ID on this is one and three fourths. And the total length of this is around 30 inches. Now I can play with this because I've gone through here, there's no tension on this because this is broken. If this is in tension, you've got to be careful with this thing because uh, it's like you're fooling with a bomb or something. It can come undone, grab your fingers, rip your fingers off. So you really want to have a professional do that if you uh, don't know what you're doing. But this is a broken spring, so there's no tension on it. I've gone through and undo, done the two screws on here that you wind this up. I go over here and count. 20 over, on this particular one, it's 5 inches. What that means is the diameter of this is a quarter of an inch. And that's actually better to use than a caliber. If I go over here like this, put this together, the overall length on this is about 30 and a half. To measure the diameter of the wire, I'm going to go ahead and measure 20 of these over, 20 of these, and this particular one is exactly 5 inches. So each one of these is a quarter of an inch in diameter thread, and you have the portion of this towards you. This one is going to your right. So this is called, a, these are a quarter of an inch in diameter. I know this is 1 and 3 fourths, the ID. These are quarter inch diameter. And I also know this is a right wind thread. And I'm going to put this back over to here, measure the whole length, and that's the 30, a little over 30 inches. Okay, on this spring that's right wind, the right side is fixed, and the left side is the part that goes to the rotating uh, shaft that hooks up to the, lifts the door up. So the part that's cranked up to tension it is on the left and the fixed part is on the right. So this is the fixed part and the part that's tensioned up here is on the left. There's the broken piece. That's a right wind spring. Let's see what the end looks like on that. Again, if you're winding it up, that spring, if you were making that spring, the part that would go to your right, when it's facing towards you, that's a right wind spring. 